How's it going, everyone? Thank you for stopping by. They call me Kane. It's a pleasure and honor being with you today. Prison Tycoon under new management is what we're going to be playing today. This is a new Prison Tycoon game that just came out. It actually is a reboot of the Prison Tycoon uh, way back in the day. Well, I don't want to say way back, but, you know, some time ago. Uh, so we're going to have to build a prison, rehabilitate some inmates, right? And most importantly, be a profitable business in the end, right? That's the idea here. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see this turn into a Let's Play series, you got to make sure to smash that like button for me. When you hit the like button, it tells me that you want to see this into and turn it into a Let's Play series for sure. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome. It's a pleasure and honor. And if you aren't a returning subscriber, you might be new to the channel. Welcome, it's a pleasure and honor. I would highly recommend if you are into this kind of stuff or into time management games or maybe tycoon type games, uh, subscribe, subscribe, hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free and you will be sure, it will make sure that you will not miss our next video. And who knows, maybe not miss the next Prison Tycoon video that we put out. So yeah, without further ado, let's just stop talking and jump into this. I have no idea what to expect. This is day one. It's in early access. I should mention that. This game is in early access. Uh, but right now it is on sale during the summer event it will be on sale for the first seven days of it being released in early access so today july 1st uh if you are thinking about getting this game you can get it on sale right now so that's fun so here we are uh real quick let me just jump into the settings see what kind of things that are going on here uh fahrenheit yeah date format month day year i kind of like that thank you so much uh anything else that i need to see here uh, no, looks like it's pretty much all set in stone. It's pretty good. There are achievements. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's just do it. So, little little to note here. There are five biomes that you can actually do in this game. For us, we're just going to stick with the perfect place to start. <laughs> this is the quote-unquote perfect place to start. Uh, the air is fresh and pure with very sunny and pleasant summers, while in winter it is covered with snow, leaving a beautiful landscape. So it looks like there's going to be uh, different kinds of seasons in this game, so that's it's kind of fun to fun to think about uh, but look at four other biomes to go along with it which is very interesting to, to see as well but here we go let's go ahead and enter the name enter the game name we'll do um uh, i don't know kansas lp maybe actually can we put a question mark no we cannot put a question mark but we can put maybe because that's all going to depend on you guys remember all right so here we go Yo, UFO, E.T. I know. I've seen that movie. <laughs> I've seen it. So, yeah, this is, you know, I've been, I, this was on my radar for some time now. And I really like just how it looks. It looks pretty clean. The art style is pretty nice. Um, it does look like a, a big upgrade uh, come from, like, previous Prison Tycoon games. So, welcome to Prison Tycoon under new management. You can build the prison of your dreams, manage the employees that make it work, and manage its economic aspects. The objective, the objective of the prison is to house prisoners and rehabilitate them so they can be reinserted into society. All of this is in the most fun, efficient, and profitable way, and now you're in charge. Where do we start, boss? That, that's what I'm saying. Where do we start, boss? So, so far, real quick. The camera controls are pretty easy. I'm glad. Some games like this, you know, they make it way too complicated. But I'm all right with, with how it is already. So, yeah, a little bit of camera action there. So, we have, like, fake boards of, like, of security guards here. Look at this. Check this out. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> uh, that's kind of cool. So, build one common uh, building for 2,000. So, let's see here. Uh, re reception building. No. So, build create a building essential rooms therapy rooms staff outdoor um this would be just a common right indoor oh no oh god so maybe we can uh click sometimes you can find like uh, you can click on them and see how you go and like oh i need this and that to, to make this the official room at least that's how it was in others uh but yeah let's just i guess try to figure out what we want to do create a building you know i i feel like we don't need to create a building that's the thing because i feel like we we have a little bit of open space to work with here Honestly, well, this actually now looking at it looks like a holding cell. So maybe we do have to have to build something here. Uh, central rooms, I'm guessing, is like okay, restrooms, infirmary, uh, showers, dining. Okay. Oh God, new prisoners arriving already? No, no, no. I'm not ready. Every day you will receive new prisoners who will arrive on the bus from the prison. 
your goal as the head of the prison is to ensure that they are rehabilitated as soon as possible from their disorders. So that upon re-interrogation, it's a re-interrogate, <laughs> re-interrogation, no, they're not getting re-interrogated here. They'll be put back into society uh, happy and healthy uh, as always. Let's not forget the running of a prison is a business, so economically speaking, you will receive a sum of money when a new prisoner arrives. All right, all right. So can I like time out? Yeah, time out is indeed there. So we are actually in 1985. That's really cool. What is this? Use the P <laughs> use the PA system? What, dude? Oh my god. All right, so grants on course. Build one common building, build two cell blocks, increase the prison population with two new prisoners. So first things first, we need to like hire staff. Is that possible? Can we hire some staff, prisoners? Hire. Uh, yeah, we need like a guard immediately. Like these cutouts are not gonna work. So uh, hiring a guard is, is a must right now. So it seems like these people have, um... yeah, they, do they actually have like, because some of them are, at a different salary, right? But their efficiency is a lot different too. So I look like a $485 um, salary would be 494 for Justin, age 29. I've been preparing for this job for a long time. I have the impression that working here is going to be fun. I love drawing. I've been doing it since I was a child. Sure, you know what? Let's just hire Justin and see what happens. Hire for $3,000. We have $89,000 to work with. I hate that the game just became unpositor, especially now that we don't have anything going on. All right, so this would be a cell, right? This is a holding cell that we have. Uh, forgive me, you know, as I, as I try to figure all this out. A guard, medic, kitchen therapist, gardener, uh, maintenance, uh, probably not right now. Uh, economics don't need to do that right now prison policies grants that's incredible dude yeah so if we build these these right here all this entire list looks like we're gonna you know be getting that money of course right uh, so we just need to figure out how to create that building now there is a lot of different other subs sub rooms here um, security indoor outdoor leisure rooms for all I know I mean there's a lot of good stuff here that we can look at staff rooms um, one thing I do want to kind of figure out, though, resource production. Small electric generator? Oh, okay, I see, I understand. One thing I want to kind of figure out here is building a common building, or build one common building. Like, what What do you actually, I mean, I guess just something simple, right? Let's just, let's just put something down and see what happens, really. Um, invalid zone? No, 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 you don't understand. I can place anything I want at any time ever. So I guess maybe just, like, I don't know. Required minimum size, 16 by 16. All right, that's interesting. So 16 by 16. So there we go. We have a building. Uh, do I agree with the building? Not entirely. <laughs> like, I didn't want it to be separate, but it looks like it is going to be separate. So this is authorized personnel only. Okay. All right. So there we go. That's our common, uh, common building, I guess. Uh, build two cell blocks. Okay, build two cell blocks. So we have... Oh, okay, so we can actually put the cell blocks in here as well. Okay, so... Yeah, how do, how do we do that? Can we can we do that in outside or is it all in inside? So it is all interior. Uh, looks like... I mean, I, this looks like a cell, but maybe not. So let's do... Um, so two cell blocks, right? Yeah, two cell blocks. Now, how big do the cell blocks need to be? Like this... Like that seems big enough. So we'll do that <laughs> and we'll do that and oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, I mean, I, the bars on it is very, very old school, right? But look at the, how the stuff go down. That's actually kind of cool. Okay. So how would I rotate? First of all, first of all, like maybe figure out your camera angle there, dummy. Uh, let's see. Place to rotate. Okay. Wait, wait, what? Oh, you just click it. Okay, good. So we'll just place that there. Uh-oh. Oh, is this, is this, is this like sewage lines? Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. I like this. So we'll connect it up there. I don't know if that was sewage or electric. Could be either or, I guess. So there's one cell block, I guess. Uh, let's, let's, let's do another, please. I would like to add another cell block, if possible. Uh, no, not details. Just build another one. Create. No, I don't want to create that either. Now, wait a sec. Essential rooms. Wait. Cell block. Okay, yeah, cell block. That's the essential room. Now, I want that to go there and then place it right there. Good thing there's a wall between them. That's kind of good. And, and then just kind of rotate this over here. That's... All right, well, that, that'll do, I guess. 
go ahead and put the bath or the toilet right there and we'll connect this right there as well so there we go so we technically now have two cell blocks we will get the grant for that uh now we will have to increase our population from one to two not too bad because look at they're coming off the bus right now looks like we have one guard uh <laughs> So when they come in, they're going to come in and they'll go through the metal detector, right? I would hope. But why is it holding cell way over here? I guess maybe that's like booking, right? So is there anything I can do if I click on this? The object is in good condition. This is an administration desk. A desk used tirelessly by the always reliable cardboard guard. I refuse. I refuse there to be ever any cardboard guard. Uh, cardboard uh, board ever. So let's go ahead and like maybe hire more guards i think justin might be overwhelmed by himself if he's by himself <laughs> if that made any sense we could hire caesar now the cheap like more efficient people that's that's where i'm at right now so we'll hire caesar as well so hello caesar so we have two guards let's see what they do here so this guard just took him into the holding cell right here. So that is technically our new uh, new person. Now, I can drag and drop. This is a little bit, you know, this is different between most kind of like prison kind of games. You can drag them and put them down. I was like having Sims or something. I don't know. So the prisoners prisoners will enter the prison with certain personality disorders. You can review, review the disorder of a prisoner by selecting it with the mouse, reviewing the detailed panel. That's actually really cool. To, re to re rehabilitate them. I don't know why I'm, I'm having trouble with that word this morning. You must evaluate uh you must evaluate which is the therapy that best that best suits them okay so find out what they need for the most part uh, once you have a prisoner assigned they will go to therapy when the time is designated for it okay so i wonder if we can do any of that you'll so soon notice how the degree of disorder goes down to zero so once all disorders have been reduced to zero the prisoner will be fully re rehabilitated and you will receive a special reward for the completion Dude, that's actually really cool. So, yeah, like I said, this this prison game is it's a little bit different, right? It's a little bit different than others. Uh, this one has a fun little twist to it, and I really like it. I, I So far, I mean, it's very intriguing. It's very new and fresh in, in the prison aspect of things, right? So, deviant therapy is slightly effective to treat. Art therapy, reading therapy. So, di divian, I guess divian, is that how you say it? Uh, looks like it treats a lot of different disorders. There's art. V there's a VR therapy. Oh my god, dude. Sensory. Tabletop. Tabletop is therapy, apparently. Polygraph. I don't know how that's therapy. Dancing. And then Tesla. Th Tesla therapy? <laughs> okay, dude. All right, whatever. So we can go ahead and maybe click on this gentleman here. Yeah, let's go ahead and pause it real quick and click on this guy. So if we click on him... Uh, this prisoner has no therapy assigned. You can drag the prisoner to a therapy room for treatment. We don't have a, you know, we don't have a therapy room quite yet. As you can see, this game is like really throwing us in quickly, very quickly. Uh, but this man is name or woman, man or woman. I, 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 does it say the gender or anything? I'm not sure. Kleptomatic disorder. Okay, so he has an anger disorder and a kleptomatic disorder. Evaluation. Oh, look at this. You can see months in prison, total number of fights. Attempted escapes, I hate that. That's really cool. You can see his happiness, his health, conflictive. He's a professional hacker with no principles. He's only driven by money. He has a wife. Oh, so it is a he. He has a wife and two children waiting for him to come back. Learning to dance will help him relax. This is something cool, because like like I said, in other prison games, you don't really get like you don't really get to know your your prisoners like personally, right? Uh, so this this way it looks like you kind of you kind of do get that sense like you kind of get that personal aspect of, of Figuring out who your prisoners really are uh, Where am I gonna put the therapy room that that's a bag that pff, I don't even know dude. I don't even freaking know um, We could put it like maybe over here somewhere It has to be a minimum 16 by 16. So don't forget that Okay, so let's do like at the very edge here Can we do 16 and then by 16 all right so there we go we have another building let's kind of line that up with the other door i know it's not centered to like the building itself but i'd rather line it up to the door uh door to door here so it's an easy transport to there so now we need to get like a uh a therapist room or a therapy room right 
So how would we, how would one do that? So common insertable rooms, you know, insertable rooms actually, uh, isolation cell, Jesus, uh, dining room, showers, amenities. And you can see like up here, this is our prestige level. You can see certain things, you know, unlock at certain prestiges. We don't even have an infirmary. Um, visitor center. Oh, there is. Okay. So there's the therapy. So divine, divine therapy. Um, the most basic therapists treat all types of disorders equally, but it's not highly effective. So we could get this in. Um, yeah, we are going to get that in because that's like only the few options we have. This is an eight by eight minimum. And then we'll do that. And then, yeah, this will be done correctly here. So when the prisoners walk in here, we'll do this. And, uh, you know, welcome to my humble of bode. I didn't use that word correctly. I don't even know if that was a word, to be honest. So there we go. We done did that. And then let's go ahead and connect the power here. Fantastic. Uh, no therapist assigned here, as you can see. So we're going to have to hire a therapist. We did get a uh, grant done. So let's hire a therapist. Who's our best therapist? I would like a really good, decent therapist. Someone who has good efficiency. Um, uh, do 341. 341 for Ty. Maybe Ty. 350. 3, 317 for Oompa. Oompa? No. Just because of the name. I'm sorry. We'll hire Matthew. <laughs> Alright, so Matthew is our therapist. Room and opening hours. So there we go. We have that. So now we can kind of like help this gentleman here about his therapy ther therapeutic sessions, I guess. So how would we do that? How would we assign him? I guess maybe drag? Can we? Oh god. Can we drag and drop him in here? Oh, dude, that's how you do it. That's how you sign him. Fantastic. All right, now we have two guards, one therapist. He will, you know, say what he needs to say in there, I guess. All right, good. So that's good. So increase the prison. Looks like, uh, you know, we're doing fine right now. So let's build one restroom, it says. So build one restroom. Um, let's see. Therapy room, staff rooms, leisure rooms, outdoor, indoor. I guess that's indoor stuff. Uh, security we're not quite there yet honestly like i wonder oh you can expand so you can expand maybe i'm guessing yeah look at this expansion ten thousand gold so don't think that this is the only plot we're working with you can obviously see here there is a lot of space that we can work with this is great news to see i love 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 that because i was getting worried there i was like whoa dude we have like we're almost out of space no no we have plenty of space don't worry about that now, okay, so I don't want to bring up a new building here. I actually want to do essential rooms. I want to get the restrooms rolling here. Now, where do I put a restroom? Uh, I guess not there. We could put a restroom there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's actually put a restroom in here. You put it next to the therapy room, therapist room? Yeah, you do. That seems too big, though. Maybe I don't. Um, can't put it in there. That's a holding cell. And this is mainly for our staff, I'm assuming. So I don't want to make it too big. <laughs> Sorry, staff. Let's do it right there and then do that. And then, yeah, put a nice stall. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, I'd rather not put a window anywhere in there right now. <laughs> I'm just not into that right now. So, so far, so good. What else do we have here? Build one shower. Okay. Uh, central rooms, building a shower. You, you would think like the shower and the bathroom would go together, but I guess not. Now, the shower I would assume is for the prisoners, for the inmates. But maybe not. I don't know. It could be for staff. Should I put more? No, nah, I'll just leave it for right, right now. Once I need more showers, I'll put more showers down. Uh, build a dining room now. Okay, so a mess hall for them. So we're going to have to build an actual... Uh, another section here so where would we put a mess hall um i guess right here is fine if we can't several tiles are not buildable excuse me oh no dude we're not gonna have the 16 by 16 area here all right well that that's a shame so we're gonna have to figure out a way here let's see if we can go as far as down here as possible the fact that we have to have a required 16 by 16 kind of sucks i will say that uh it just makes it uh, like you you lose a lot of room quickly, but maybe that's why expansion is, is big So trying to kind of like organize where you want certain areas and certain things uh, is, is gonna be a little bit more difficult. So the dining room of course is gonna be inside uh, You know what? I actually want to see how uh, What is it dining room? 
what is their size? So a required size of 12 by 12. So 12 by 12. So that's eight. So that's that's a 12 by 12. But like, honestly, like that makes it weird, no, no? Maybe we just do that, 12 by 16. You know what? Can we just make the whole thing? 16 by 16? No. All right, 12 by 16 it is. The hallway, admittedly, is a little weird. A little, little weird. Um, so this would be the... I guess they come up and get this. So which direction would this face? Like, this isn't worker or this is worker? Maybe it is. That That's the way the inmates would face. So we'll do that. And then the inmates will, you know, have a nice little table over here to the side. Right there. Great. Um, and then, hell, is this trays? Yeah, trays. Put the trays there. There we go. New prestige level. Great. We're prestige level two. So we unlock gym, library, art therapy, reading therapy, virtual reality, gardening, tabletops, a bunch of bunch of different things. That's good. Looks like all the therapy stuff has came through here. The starting land of the prison is very small, so you will need to expand your grounds in order to build an adjacent land. To do this, click on the adjacent land and then expansion. All right. So let's do that. So if I were to go somewhere with this, I, I think maybe to the left. If I go to the left, I can kind of build off on more of the prison, like the inmates, because I want the inmates to kind of stay in the same area, right? So there's 10 grand. Yo! Look at that. That was kind of cool. <laughs> that was really cool. Cool. Uh, prison policies. This is a whole nother thing. Look at all this micromanaging that you can do. This is awesome for people that love that kind of stuff. Wow. Um, defining your schedule of your prison will affect the routines and the staff and prisoners. Don't forget that you can record custom PA system messages to, for different events. I have to try that. Attention, attention, ladies and gentlemen. Get back to your cells immediately. Attention, attention, ladies and gentlemen. Get back to your cells immediately. No freaking way, dude. Oh my god. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> dude, this game sold me just by the PA system. Holy crap. That was incredible, dude. That was incredible. Probably the coolest thing I've ever seen in a game. So when new prisoners arrive, we can give them a set recorded message here. All right, here we go. Nerd alert. We have a nerd alert. All the new boots are coming in. Nerd alert. We have a nerd alert. All the new boots are coming in. <laughs> Dude, that's so good. <laughs> so you can record your voice for every and then start of the day. Oh my god. This is amazing. We have a nerd alert. All the new boots are coming in. Yo, we got new people coming in. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. This is incredible. So many more grants that we can do, too. This is incredible. Wow. Can you actually uh, name any of these? No. So no therapy assigned. Look, my man. Uh, we do have this therapy assigned to you. So we do have a new inmate. We will assign that inmate there. So who are we talking with today? Uh, this is Rami. <laughs> His disorders is alcoholic disorder and compulsive disorder. So with Rami, he will be uh, put into here and he will do his therapy session there. So we have the ability now to kind of uh, kind of work with the disorders for sure. Uh, so we have the prestige, I guess we can start building on that. Um, this is incredible, though. I got to pause the game. This this is absolutely like start of the day. Good morning, Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm 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 like I'm like way I, I shouldn't be focusing on that so much, but that thing blows my freaking mind. Okay, okay, okay. Allow staff to decide when to rest automatically. Yeah, I, I would do that. Give the logistics manager the ability to buy resources automatically. Possibly, possibly. I'm not sure where that's at. I'm sure we'll get into that more. Uh, but now that we have more therapy rooms we can work with, uh, we can figure out kind of like 
what does what, right? So this reading therapy helps with the anger disorder, which is actually with, with what one of our guys has. Art therapy works with drinking, which is another thing that our guy, what does this man have? He has kleptomatic, yeah, kleptomatic and anger disorder. So there's a few therapy sessions that we're gonna have to like build here. Um, so let, let's like do that. I kind of want to, oh, we can't build it right here, can we? Well, actually, can we? No. What we can do, however, is we can do this. Watch. We can buy this land. Boom. Now we can build on it. I mean, we have $66,000. We're doing okay. Uh, so then let's now work this into another uh, therapy session, please. 16 by 16. We'll do this one. It don't matter, but we'll do it there. And then we'll connect the electricity right there. Fantastic. And then inside, we will do a therapy, 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 uh, amenities room, staff. Oh, dude, staff room. We should probably work on our staff, too. That's something that's probably uh, <laughs> uh, important to do. Okay, so where was it? It was, okay, so gardening, right? No, but that's pyromaniacs. Uh, reading, reading. Wait a sec. I didn't see that. Go back to it. Reading is how big? Excuse me, eight by eight. So eight by eight. There we go. So we have a reading therapist. So that's good. Uh, let's just put it in the corner right there. And then the gentleman can read by himself or is sitting here. I don't know. That, that He'll just read. So that's supposed to help one of our gentlemen's boys and girls. Like all this stuff is like. There's so much other stuff that you can do, which is awesome. Uh, but we do need to hire another therapist. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and we also need to hire like a cook or a kitchen, a chef, a chef, a chef. So we'll hire Zing here. Please hire Zing. There you go. And now this guy, right? Because he's a, yeah, he's anger. We should be able to like put him in there as well for, for therapy as well. Um, so let's go ahead and do build. Uh, and do 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 do. Mm, I want another therapy room, yeah. But who do I want it for? I mean, sensory. What is sensory for? Kleptomatic? Maybe that is. I gotta see that icon one more time. Yeah. So sensory is for kleptomatic. So I'm gonna do that right away. Whoops. So sensory for kleptomatic. It's very hard to see that, but. This is also going to be an 8x8 room. It's going to be right next door. Uh, same same thing. Same thing, right? There we go. Oh, what? He gets to freaking be in a jacuzzi? How incredible is that? All right, so there we go. We'll hire another uh, therapist. We have more therapists than guards. That you could argue. Not good. There we go. We'll do that. And then this is our guy, right? Same guy. He'll be assigned to that as well. So there we go, good. So now with our new boot, which is this guy, what is he working on? He's working on gambling and alcoholic disorder. So we're gonna need more um, more therapy rooms for that, of course. Um, I think like getting them rehabilitated quickly and fast is probably like the way to go. So we'll try to do that tactic and see how that goes for us. So let's do that. Uh, yeah, let's just connect that there. And then let's go ahead and insert a something for uh, alcoholics. So I guess art therapy is, is great for alcoholics. Who would have known? There we go. Fantastic. And then let's go ahead and just pop this. Oh no, plop this down and then he can paint. Love that. There we go. And then one more, <clears throat> excuse me, one more. Yeah, I know I need another, another therapist there. One more I would like for, what was he? Not a liar, not a cultist, uh, not a reckless driver. Not a pyromaniac. Oh, compulsive. Yeah, he was a gambler. So we'll do this too. Tabletop? Is this what this was? <laughs> See that? How much money we got? 40 grand. All right. So now you can start to say like, you know, we're getting hit by, by money, but we're making big, big expansions right now. Like to the point where I need to like pause the game for a sec, make sure things aren't going crazy and then do, uh, let's see, uh, therapist, get the high efficiency therapist, please. Thank you very much. Put him there. Put him there. And then for that, we can kind of start working on this. Where did he go? This guy. So this guy. Boom. You work on that. And you work on that. So you work on both of those, my man. There you go. Cool. 
All right, so we have therapy down for these two inmates. That's really good. Uh, we are going to get new boots in <laughs> eventually. Um, I feel like I need to like, I need like a chef maybe. I don't know. So this is new, a gym, palm trees, all that stuff is new. There's so much good stuff. Security, uh, watch out tower or watchtower. Uh, keeps your prisons under, under close by. Okay. I was scared when like things start to hit the ceiling. Cause I don't know, dude, I kind of trust everyone right now. Um, gray pavement, I guess. Let's see what that is all about. What does that look like? I guess that's fine. <laughs> and then like, burp. there, that, that, that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. I guess. I mean, sure. Right. Let's see what else. Do we have anything else? Nope. That's it. All right. Cool. So now we should probably start focusing on uh, another cell, right? So rehab one prisoner disorder, place three trash cans. Okay. So now the game's actually telling us to put some essentials down. So indoor and outdoor could be uh, trash can. Yeah. Let's put a trash can down. Uh, I, can we put a trash can down in the front here? No, we cannot. Uh, let's put a trash can down like just right here. It's simple. Uh, put another trash can down uh, in here and another one uh, in here as well. So there we go. Three trash cans. It wants us to hire maintenance staff and to build a staff room. I preferably would rather build a staff room right now. So let's actually do that quite over here in the front of the prison. Uh, we'll make a 16 by 6. Well, 16 by 16 here. There we go. 16 by 16. And this will be, I guess, housing part, not all, uh, but part staff room. There we go. That's been connected. Uh, where is the staff room? That's the dining room. Staff room. Wait, wait, wait. How much is the staff room or big size? Okay, eight by eight. There we go. Staff room. We'll do that. We'll do that. And connect the bad boy. Oh, there we go. Cool. Work happy poster. <laughs> okay. Build an infirmary. Also another important thing. Let's hire some staff though. Uh, maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. I, I mean, you guys are all basically good. So get hired. There you go. What else? Uh, build the medical staff, infirmary, medical staff, prison disorder. So how's our prisoners actually doing so far right now? So his disorders aren't coming down because I feel like he hasn't been at therapy quite a bit. Uh, this gentleman, however, his disorders, I feel like are coming down a little bit. Now, it is making me a little nervous that they're kind of like, you know, way out here. <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, but I think so far, this has been a pretty good look at um, at Prison Tycoon under new management. Like I said, guys, if you want to see more of Prison Tycoon under new management, you got to hit that like. I think we're going to stop it right there. This game looks so fun. And it, you know, it just like recording your PA, like get off my lawn is incredible. Get off my lawn. Jesus, that's <laughs> just so cool. But that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, you already know what to do. I will see you in the next one. Do take care. This is for all of you, not just a song to listen to, something to give you hope to hang on to. Uh -huh.